this place is kind of different from other part of Tunisia. Patrick Bruel wrote a song just about this cafe. It's really good, different from whatever I had before. Welcome to Tunis in Tunisia. Actually, this is my first time in North Africa. Now we are here for six days and we are starting our journey by exploring Tunis, the capital of Tunisia. Last night when we arrived, it was dark and it was midnight. The flight wasn't like the flight from London is just two hours and a half. But when we arrived, we didn't see anything. We just saw our hotel. And when we woke up, we were surprised by the view. But now we are excited to explore the city. Well, we didn't realize that we are actually right next to the sea. The view is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Tunis sits on the Mediterranean coast of North Africa. It is a vibrant and bustling city with a rich cultural heritage, blending elements of Arab, Mediterranean and African cultures. Our first stop of the day is La Marsa, a charming seaside town located just a short drive from Tunis. La Marsa is known for its beautiful beaches, lively nightlife and the famous traditional cafe of Saf Saf. Saf Saf is a true Tunisian treasure. This iconic cafe has been serving coffee, tea and delicious pastries to generations of Tunisians. And it's been a favorite spot for locals to gather for as long as anyone can remember. And apparently it's not the only place for human to hang out and local cats love to hang out here. Saf Saf is actually famous for street food and during the evening here there's a lot of people. Right now it's because it's still morning, it's not very busy, but during the evening it should be really busy. <laughs> Our next stop is Sidi Busaid, a beautiful village located just 20 kilometers northeast of Tunis. With its distinctive blue and white architecture, Sidi Busaid is one of Tunisia's most iconic destinations. Sidi Busaid was named after a Sufi saint Abu Said ibn Khalaf, who lived in the village in the 13th century. The village grew in importance during the Ottoman period when it served as a popular stopover for merchants and traders. Here all the buildings are white and all the doors are blue. This place is kind of different from other parts of Tunisia. People are not allowed here to paint their door any other color rather than blue. The white and blue color scheme is believed to have originated from Andalusian architecture, which was brought to Tunisia by Muslim refugees fleeing Spain in the 15th century. We are going now to check out the Café de Delice, which was actually renamed from its original name after a famous singer. Patrick Bruel wrote a song just about this cafe, so we're gonna go inside and check out the view. The view is so gorgeous. In Tunisia, if you want to see the restaurant, it's a great restaurant, you should see if they have the sign of three forks. And if they don't have any forks, it means it's a cheap restaurant. But if they have three forks, it means five star. To be 
honest with you, here feels like we are in Greece. And all the shops and all the souvenir shops feel like, oh my god, I'm back in Greece. And it feels so good, <laughs> because I love Greece, and you know that. If you are curious to know how does it look like inside one of the houses here, this is the way to find out. very big house with different yards and different rooms and we need to climb some stairs too imagine living somewhere like this it's so cool in the center of Tunis, which is the UNESCO World Heritage. And as you can see, it's like any other Arabic uh, bazaar, it's full of people, tourists, restaurants, places to eat, and lots of boutique shops selling souvenirs or also clothes. The Medina dates back to the 8th century and is considered one of the first Arab Muslim towns of the Maghreb region in North Africa. This ancient city is the maze of narrow alleyways, bustling soaks, and impressive historic buildings including palaces, mosques, and madrasas. Here in Medina you can find Tunisian costumes and they are so colorful and I love this little one for the little kids and they are like golden, colorful and so cute. Let's not forget that the Medina is also a great place to sample some local food. After seeing a lot of restaurants and cafes and it's time to eat, we are hungry and I can't wait to try Tunisian food. We start our meal with drinking the local Tunisian citronelle, it's lemon sugar water and milk. It feels a bit strong, it's not as light as normal lemonade but it tastes really good. But yeah, you feel like it's a strong. For a starter we have brick and I should put lemon on top and then I should eat it like this. It's tuna and eggs inside. The lemon juice is going everywhere. Tastes really good, different from whatever I had before. Actually, I didn't know there is a running egg inside and I made a mess. Watch out if you order this. As my main course, I ordered some couscous with fish. I'm gonna try it out. Very nice. And actually you can get couscous with different uh, type of meats like Bruno got with fish, I got with chicken or you can get with lamb. From the arch where the Medina starts actually you can take the main avenue all the way back. This is where you can actually see most of the French influence. It looks a lot like the Champs-Élysées. It's a more modern part of Tunis. So we're gonna walk across. Here like Champs-Élysées there, there are a lot of cafe and restaurants but the prices are not the same as Champs-Élysées, believe me. <laughs> it's much cheaper here. 
Here, look what we found. We found a big bang. <laughs> Another Elizabeth Tower, but much smaller. After exploring Tunis, we rushed back to the airport because we are going to leave Tunis and we are going to Jerba. But actually, to be honest, I don't know when, at what time uh, we are going to leave or depart because our ticket it says flight is 6.30 but when we arrived here and there was no flight at 6.30 and uh, they said your flight is at 8. Right now it's 8.30. We actually went through the security and we were there and they, the police officer came to us, I mean to everyone and said you have to go back because now is the time that the security has to change the ship and at the time there is no police here so you can't just stay here it's forbidden and i'm like what our flight is just in 10 minutes and they are saying no 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 your flight is in one hour and a half which means at 10 pm so we had to leave and now we are here we don't know when we are going through the security again and we get the flight apparently we have to go with the fellow and this is apparently very normal and not unusual here in Tunisia for domestic life.